Today I'm going to be sharing how to score 95 plus in your ICSE class 10th board exams. Everyone wants it and how can you do that in the last two weeks? I will be sharing every single thing and every single doubt that you had asked in the last video which got so much of love. Thank you so much and let's just get right into it. The first thing that you should know is what your result exactly looks like. So here's my result for example, English language and literature are compulsory subjects that means it will be considered in your top 5 subjects. You actually have 6 subjects, you might be wondering, huh, how do I have 6 subjects, I have 10. If you have science, I'm telling you, physics, chemistry and biology are considered as one subject, history, civics and geography are considered as one subject hindi maths and your six subject whichever subject that you have are the three separate subjects so the weightage automatically increases you can imagine if you get a 95 in your six subject or you get a 95 in biology physics and chemistry all together then that will be counted or this so you can understand studying a single subject can be worth a lot more than studying two to three subjects uh, but personally i would tell you since you have only six subjects and your top five are gonna be counted so you should not leave any one of those out like you decided ki science so mujhe padhi hai chodo teen subject wo nahi karna hai i would tell you because it is very scoring and it is not difficult at all especially if you are planning to give any other exams in the future you could definitely go for selective study subject wise but not as a whole you could not just leave everything out so that is one thing that you should avoid i got a comment actually so i decided to tell you some of y'all have been asking me is it actually possible to get 95 plus starting right now i have done a few chapters here and there but I'm still not confident because I did not score well in my pre boards. Yes, it is possible because number one, your boards are a lot easier and you can predict what questions are going to come. The paper pattern and the questions are very predictable. So you know you can score really well because most students score over 80%. It is not difficult nowadays. Earlier it used to be a different story, but now you can easily score over 80%. If you don't have any answer in the board, you can leave it you have to write something down at least write the formula or just write a few lines about or just see what question they have asked you just change the words here and there and write something and come don't leave out any answer especially for literature language history geography theoretical subjects do not make that mistake so your top five subjects are taken in your percentage but if you are going to give j or neat then in the form when you're filling it really does not matter how much you scored in your 10th but you will have to write the overall percentage down like every single subject will be counted because they will ask you how much marks you scored out of thousand for example like all the 10 subjects and like that you're supposed to give so that is a complete different story but i think in the 10th percentage only five subjects will be taken and i told you what subjects are taken together it is not separate like science is one thing like that y'all obviously know english literature language is compulsory so in fact in all the subjects that you have you have to do really well in the last video i had shared how to complete the syllabus very fast so if you haven't watched it yet do that and you will be able to finish the entire syllabus so smoothly I'm telling you just do that and trust me you will thank me later after that what you're supposed to do is question answers PYQs ki book leni hai there'll be questions and answers you're supposed to just learn see the answer and do it it's okay if you are not able to answer it just mug it up right there okay keep learning PYQs need to be done at least two times even if you're starting right now you need to do it twice just read the answer keep reading keep reading keep reading and trust me you will get at least 60 to 70 percent of your paper is going to be from PYQs I'm not even kidding. I've analyzed all previous year papers and even if you see in certain books, they'll uh, write a question and write it in the bracket that it came two to three times in books. So you know they repeat the question and you really can't leave it out. After that, I would definitely recommend doing question answers from any book. If you don't have the question answer format like the question and the answer is also given, if you don't have any such book, 
you do not need to buy anything right now just go to my telegram group see the google drive link and you will find a lot of books over there if you go buy something right now it won't reach you on time like online order karoge ek do week baad hai kitna time nahi hai hamare paas keep reading the questions and answers so the thing is scoring 90 plus is not a big deal it is easy and even if you did not score well i'm telling you you can do it you can still get 90 95 plus just that you need to practice a lot of questions right at the end because if you practice questions see uh, you will practice maybe 100 200 questions usme se hi kuch na kuch aana hai it's not like a new question will be formed it will be from what you have already studied nothing is going to be extra and just see the syllabus once do not make that mistake of studying extra like whatever is given in the syllabus wo hi aana chahiye usse zyada padhna hi nahi hai फालतू का टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करना हम लोग को हम लोग को मार्क्स मतलब है हमें एग्जाम अच्छे से देना है हमें मार्क्स मिल जाए बस दैट इज ऑल वी वांट वी डोंट वांट एक्स्ट्रा ज्ञान राइट नाउ जस्ट बिफोर द एग्जाम जितना ज्ञान चाहिए एग्जाम के बाद ले लेना सी द सिलेबस एंड स्टडी वर्ड टू वर्ड फ्रॉम देयर डू नॉट स्टडी एक्स्ट्रा बिकॉज एक लाइन भी बोर्ड बाहर से पूछ ही नहीं सकते पूछेगा ही नहीं trust me on that all the best to all icsc students don't forget to check out the icsc playlist it will help you a lot all the things that i shared in this video can be for any board any class specifically for icsc right now but the same things are valid for cbsc isc all of that if you're giving cbsc class you will definitely check out these practice papers it will really help you gain that confidence right before the exam uh see practicing papers will get you used to that environment you know that is why i all always in my videos practicing mock tests are very important that's going to be it for today's video and i wasn't going to post it so early like i post once a week but since the last video got so much of love i decided to post it earlier and if you show that much of love to this video as well i will definitely post more this month because your exams are coming close and you probably won't that like it up and let me know what you want to see next bye mm -hmm.